Hi everyone, Paul Levy with Brown Owls here and this week we have some more new products. Today we got a lot of stuff from Geisley. Right here we have one of their new rifles. We've had their rifles for a little while, same with their pistols. Uh, but now we have a version with a nitride barrel. Uh, traditionally theirs have come with the phosphate, chromine barrel, mil spec type. Uh, this version here, they've got nitride. So it's a unique run for Geisley. So do a quick unboxing for you. Here it is as you get it. I did already cut this bag open so I could easily get to it and not fumble around with a knife on camera. So here is the rifle itself. This is the, of course, the Luna Black model. There's of course the OD Green, the Desert Tan, and they have the 40 millimeter green as well. And then you can get these in pistol configurations. Of course, we got a rifle right here. Does come with a fantastic manual and owner's guide. You got a lock, and then you got some cool Geisley swag stickers and chamber flag. So I'm gonna get this out of the way real quick. So here is the rifle itself. It has some really great features on it. Now you might think to yourself, okay, it's another AR with an M-Lock handguard. Uh, well, no, uh, I'll go through some of the features that Geisley really pays attention to. Um, first of all, make sure she's clear. Uh, first off, you get the Geisley handguard system. Uh, of course, that's M-Lock free float handguard, but they are super robust and rigid. Of course, they have the Geisley proprietary barrel nut, but then they have this two clamps right here, which solve the lock. And on their rifles, they don't have the indexing tab for anti-rotation because they're mating up with their upper receiver. You can see right here, they index that handguard into the upper receiver itself. Say you, if you ever wanted to swap this, you could. You could pop it off. A standard handguard will still fit. There'll just be that slight gap right there. I don't know why you would ever take off that guy's a handguard though. Does have a QD socket on both sides right there. Of course, on this, the different feature about this model compared to the other Luna Black models we've had is this one is a completely nitride barrel. Uh, like I said previously, chrome line phosphate, nitride, super hard finish, uh, corrosion resistance, uh, all that good stuff. Of course, you got their bomb proof gas block up front, kind of hard to see obviously with the handguard, 15 inch handguard covering it, but they do have a coil roll pin in there. It's not just two set screws holding that gas block in place, which can be prone to shuffling off the front of your uh, barrel if not installed correctly. So you have that nice roll pin, which is a fantastic touch and really a mil spec way of mounting, much like the taper pins you might find on a standard M4 front sight base. And then up front, you have the Surefire flash hider. Surefire actually made these for Geisley. They removed the ports and just have a flash hider configuration. Bill Geisley prefers this setup right here, found it tested better for its flash hiding capabilities. And it is of course compatible with standard Surefire uh, suppressors or silencers. And it does have the Geisley nano finish weapons coating uh, on it as well. Moving on back, the key component of their rifles, which is often overlooked in say your standard AR, is the bolt and bolt carrier group. They actually forge their bolts uh, it, to their specs. So they ensure the grain structure actually reinforces the lugs. So when they machine those lugs, the grain structure actually follows the lugs so that during repeated cycling, they're gonna stand up to abuse, uh, like over 100,000 rounds with this enhanced bulk carrier group. Then on the lower receiver itself, you've got a lot of nice features. You have the textured takedown pins. So they're nice and serrated there so you can easily uh, find those. You got your magazine release, again, textured proprietary. They, they didn't just take a off the shelf magazine release. That's their own that they machined. And of course you got Ambi safety selector right there. And then bolt catch, they've got a maritime bolt catch. So super enlarged right there. And then they have the lightning bow trigger. So this is the super semi-auto, but with a lightning bow. You cannot find this trigger by itself. You can't purchase this trigger by itself from Geisley. It only comes in their firearms. Then in the back right here, of course, you have a B5 system stock. And then inside though, you have the Super 42 recoil system, the coiled spring that uses a braided spring, not your standard spring uh, and buffer to enhance reliability. And then up top, you got the airborne charging handle, Ambi on both sides right there. So those are a few of the features that I really like on these, the Geisley uh, Super Precision Rifles. Check this one out. This is the rifle, of course. Check out all the pistols from Geisley on Brownells.com. And then say if you didn't want to purchase 
the complete OD green or FDE. You could piece it together from parts from Brownells. Right here we have the OD green buffer tube and the FDE. These are anodized, so a lot of times when you're getting colors from a vendor, they're gonna Cerakote it, nothing wrong with that. But what Geisley does a little bit different is they actually anodize to their specs. So you get the same hard coat as say a black finish, but in a color variation right here. So you can now get these mil spec buffer tubes from Geisley in color variations. I believe they have gray as well, so check those out. And then for you guys that really like your bayonets, uh, we have the super stabby mount from Geisley. This attaches to any standard Picatinny rail and it acts as a faux barrel and has a bayonet lug right there so you can mount a bayonet to the side of your firearm. I believe this came about because with an M203, you can't mount it to the bottom. So if you want to mount it to a bayonet at all, you have to mount it to the side. So check out the Super Stabby from Geisley also. So here we have the Geisley Everyday Pistol Backpack. This is a well thought out backpack, discreet design colors. Right here we have the blue version. You can of course get black. Uh, this has a ton of features and I'm surely gonna miss a few uh, in this video. So I'm gonna run through as many as I can catch here offhand. Uh, of course, well-constructed backpack. Uh, awesome as far as stitching and everything like that. Padded right here with a little bit of uh, space so you're not gonna get a sweaty back and all that good stuff. I'll start out actually back here you can see these zippers in the side and they actually have a compartment in here for, for a Velcroed in holster. So Velcro that in however you want inside and then you can have a pistol in the back of your backpack. Put that back in there. So then starting back on the front, uh, they've got two large compartments on the front right here and these are large and they also got lots of compartments, straps so you can secure things so things aren't just gonna be floating around in each of these pockets, as well as you can see those on camera, but lots of things like that. You can strap flashlights to, any goodies. On the top, I really like this. This is kind of a hardened piece. So if you got sunglasses, your actual prescription glasses, you can put them up in here and they're not gonna get just totally wrecked, your phone, whatever. Now there's two main compartments. I guess they're not both main, but two large compartments. Uh, you have one right here that's padded on the back, compartment right here you can throw things into. And then there's this larger compartment on the back side. If you unzip it all the way around, it opens up just like so. And then you've got this Velcroed in piece, which you can tear that out. And then there's say another pistol case. So you can have something stored in there, probably a pistol. It's nice, has a nice felt, uh, soft interior. So if you put a pistol in there or firearm, close it up, it's not gonna get dinged up with all your other stuff that you might have in your backpack. And then you've got these straps right here that you can secure other items to. They're nice and large. Uh, so again, everything's designed so that whatever you put in here isn't just jumbled mess and just totally floating around. And this will attach just like so, and it's not gonna float around thanks to that Velcro. So that's the Geisley pistol backpack. I'm sure I missed some features there, but if you want an all-purpose carry backpack, this is a good way to go. That's it for this week. I'll see you again next week.